You're a you, Dimwit. Drop one more and I'll keel haul you. Got a minute? Preparing my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs, we're the hunters some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. All right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Morkvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Ulver cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Friends, we show heart. Foes, we show our axe. Remember that. Oh. <laughs> Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Key, Ramond, where's the key? All I have in the chapter house, the crate, but the key, where's the key? Ah! Why so silent, Ramond? You thief, you rogue, you horseman, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, <laughs> idiot, stupid prick!
are again. Be kind. God, end this. Or release me. Tiresome conversation. Not interested. What will you do? What a witcher ought to. friend. Patient doesn't mouth off. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. Claw marks. Craven slammed the door in Morkvark's face.
slower. Wonder if he's as strong. Greetings. Praise prayer. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morkvark's curse. Why would you bloody do that? Horson should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. It's what I do. Used to say the same myself, till Morkvarg gave the order to sail for Hindisfjall. I raided often and cruelly, killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too much, even for me. When, when it was over and Morkvarg was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolfang Pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my Da, who was god eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Spoke true, it seems. Your pop-pop mentioned how to reverse this? Victim needs to get the fang is all. But I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. Listen, the priestesses. They really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right, take it. But it don't come free. Want one thing in return. Won't tell anyone about your past, give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. Once Morgfog's human again, you can't let him leave. No matter what. Our axe, remember that. Oh! You! Your very name is Here, put 
put this on. I need no more fines. Don't be a smartass, just do it. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh, where's the tavern? I can eat a broiled pig. No, a side of beef. Wash it down with a cask of ale. Then to see. They forgot me, no doubt. <laughs> well, I'll fucking remind them with a bang in Novigrad, everywhere. Ha! <laughs> I'm back! Sorry, can't let that happen. Then why'd you bloody free me? To kill you, once and for all. Time to end this. Be with us one more week, Crazy. I know you feel better, but you're yet too weak to you embark on a journey. love. Hatred and Thank strength. You. But I don't want to overstay my welcome. Besides, it's time I went home. They must all think me dead there. Fred, not. I'm certain they await you. Welcome to the Temple of Freya. I'm Kirisu. How can I help? You a novice? Because I'd never take you for a priestess. Truly? Hmm, you've got a good eye. Though a bit off in this case. I'm neither a priestess nor a novice. I escaped a pirate ship, was wounded. That's why I'm here. Sisters Astrid and Dalla found me on the beach, near dead. They brought me to the temple, watched over me. I owe them my life. Quite the adventure. Got a home to go back to, or will you stay here? I've a brother in Ardskellig. He's surely mad with grief searching for me. Once I'm better, all better, I'll find a longship and head home. So long. Why does the goddess bring you here? Brought myself here, seems to me. You do not worship Freya. No, but I respect those that do, including her priestesses. This does you credit, but is meaningless as well. For Freya rewards and punishes those of other faiths and infidels as she does her own. Worship her and it will help, though it will settle nothing. What do you need?
Tell me something about this temple, could you? It happened once that Freya lost her favorite white cat. She scoured the aisles and finally found him here. Freya's heart filled with joy and she blessed this place. A temple was then established here. Didn't know Freya was into cats. Your ignorance speaks poorly of you. The white cat is the goddess's sacred animal and has deep symbolic significance. This temple is for those who seek Freya's help in finding what they desperately seek. Perhaps even you shall experience her grace. Scorn her not, or have you friends so powerful that you can afford to spurn divine aid? Mind if I have a look at your wares? Farewell. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg. Got a few more questions. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred. Raided the lands of his own clan took gold from Nilfgaard, murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud, as her blood g The curse. Tell me more. Archpriestess Alva cast it. Mm -hmm, so you said. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time, so even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this m Not what The worst man's- <clears throat> They said he fi- Archpriestess Ulva- Might have already run into this Morkvarg. He a werewolf? I know not. I- I'm afraid I've never seen him. Shame that. Was hoping you could tell me more about him, help me with my work. You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morkvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed, or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. <laughs> <laughs>